Good evening, folks, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Uh, last week, we beat up Magus and learned he wasn't responsible for Lavos, but rather was only summoning him. We also learned that Lavos, in fact, crashed during the ancient BC times and wiped out the dinosaurs. You know, that's normal. All right, let's go. If my controller will behave itself. All right. Okay, so I was told we don't want to go to the Zeal Palace yet because it will advance the plot. So let's get out of here. I want to look around some more, actually. Please forgive my controller, it's being incredibly foolish and dumb. Like, I just cleaned it out, too. And it's like, no, I'm gonna draw a fit about it. Right. Let's poke around. Let's see what's going on. I like the statues. Very cool. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness? Kindness is a power? I don't feel good about that. <laughs> I don't feel good about that apparently being a power. <laughs> In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now only the guru of life knows the art of crafting such things, and even if others did, the queen has ordered us to abandon use of the sun's power. Ah, such beauty's contentment. There isn't a newly blossomed bud. Would that I could be a flower. S -s -s okay, you are clearly dealing with something. Vera Pecco. I love this place's music. It's pretty cool so far. This is a font of recovery. Rest your wearied mind and body within, Traveler. I shall. Thank you. That's the Sun Temple which you see on the Southern Sky Isle. The Sun Stone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the Northern Shrine once we turned to our new energy source. The Queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of the tired old sun. I don't think in 1200 BC that the sun is old, but okay, sure. H hello Oh, you're a merchant, okay. Uh, I'm gonna buy a few of these. I have gold, so I can afford it, it's fine. I have a decent amount of gold, in fact. I think I'll be okay with everyone else like having some sort of healing. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. Okay. See you later then. Hopefully with that permission you need. What tempest much raid in young Lord Janice's head? His only friend other than his sister is the cat that follows him about. Maybe he just doesn't like you specifically, dude. I don't know. Maybe he just doesn't vibe with people, whoever he is. We've been seeing a great deal of young Lord Janus lately. Before he scarcely showed his face, but now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. Well, you could ask what's wrong, maybe, perhaps. Instead of going, ho hum, oh well. Her Majesty Queen Zeal has two children, Lady Shala and, her y and young Lord Janus. Ah, okay, so you're not talking to the him because he's the prince and you think it's not your place. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I would still maybe ask him what's going on in that thread. Lady Shallow's an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. It never is, but okay. My, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift too. Yours seem very primitive compared to ours though. You poor thing. Wow, okay, so you're rude, got it. 
How is it that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. Those lacking magic are known as the earthbound ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds. It's only fitting. After all, they lack our talents. Ah, okay. You're like this because they don't have magic. I see. The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. Ooh. Behold, that out, that out the window is the great blackbird, built by Belthazar, the guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. Earthbound ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems even they have their purpose. Okay. Whatever. Elitist cloud people. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. All praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. Okay. No, though. I don't know if I'm vibing with all this. Your palace is very pretty, but... Hey, isn't this the symbol on those treasure chests I keep spotting? That I can't open? Oh man, I better get to open those soon! Oh wow, you guys have like all sorts of glowing stuff on the table. I heard Lady Shala's power far surpassed those of her, o of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but he doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. I heard Lady Shallow's far- No, I didn't want to talk to you again. I wanted to move on. I've been working to fashion a capsule that will enhance one's magical skill. But my precious products have been disappearing in recent days. It must be that naughty new that took them. They do so love pranks. He's no doubt hidden them all. About. How can I work like this? Oh, that capsule's not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? Ha ha ha. <laughs> Vera Pecco, are we in the main palace? Uh, I went to the city before going to the Palace of Zeal. This is the magic city. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. Vera Pecco, there's one more city further back down the sky bridge on the first island. Okay, cool. I will go visit them before I get go to the palace. The gurus of lifetime and reason dwell in Zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Water summons wind, wind makes fire dance. I'm sure that's important. Know you this, traveler? No, tell me. The moonstone could be restored to a glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would require aeons. None of us will ever witness that gorgeous glow again. Luckily, I'm a time traveler. A guru once told me that the sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted and it turned into the lightless moonstone. Neat. I think I've bothered everyone in here. Why are you here? All is well with the blackbird, I presume? She is fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You, what are you doing there? I hope I haven't accidentally done some plot. <laughs> hmm? Those clothes. You must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll tip his card so easily. Ha! <laughs> Ominous, okay. Let's get away from this airship before something happens. <laughs> Alright, so we don't want to go to the palace yet.
Let's go bother more NPCs instead. It's cold down here. Disappointed that I can't visit that mountain. Andorra. Ah, you've made it here! Yeah, we uh, finished the dinosaur stuff last week and now we're in the Ice Age! Hang on a sec. Stay connected this time. And Hasa! Let's go! I like that there's little creatures running around. This is the magic kingdom of zeal, where dreams can be made reality, but nothing in this world comes free. There is always a price to be paid. Ah! Where'd he go? Welcome to Enhasa, Zeal's city of dreams. We seek enlightenment within the bliss of sleep. Hmm. You are not of us, are you? No. What gave it away, my bright red hair? You are most unusual visitors. Am I waking? Or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty Queen Zeal rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the King died, she encouraged the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. Oh, mood? I could not get up this morning. Slept in very late. The Queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors forged with the power of the sun in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance on the northern continent. No one is allowed inside it now. I think I've seen a triangle that looks like that, actually. In the present times. The door to the northern shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the enlightened ones, lack the means to open it. Welcome. Have you come to do business? What do you have? It's the same stuff as the new from... Ugh. Eh. Useless shops. Useless to me, anyway. Hello. The world you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only those things with you, which you can see or touch are real. Okay. That's a plushie. Truth exists in dreams. The world exists in me. The city of Kajar, the highest seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship the Blackbird is maintained there as well. I'm glad you can tell me all this while you're not awake. Hi! Hey, what's wrong? You have something to say? What's wrong? That animal free? Tastes good? I don't think so. The black winds howl. Uh oh! <laughs> One among you will shortly perish. Hey, what do you mean? Huh? It's only a bad joke. Prophecy is completely unscientific. Strange boy, but not bad boy. I don't know. Only one other person in the entire game has said that to us, you guys. I think we maybe should, maybe we should be cautious. Andorra. Uh, creepy boy. It's fine. He had a pet cat. I think that was, uh, young Janice, our buddy. Here's another font of recovery. Not that we need it, but there it is. The Queen's palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace. Hmm. I wonder what's within the northern shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but the but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. Alright, so there's a shrine full of goodies that we can't get to. It's verboten. Hey, hang on. That little guy is hopping around again. 
I am Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge. Each in turn. Oh boy, a hidden path! Is that something I can do here or is our friend just being cryptic? Oh no, okay. Okay, you just you just keep running around. Okay, Doreen, have fun. Doreen is living their best life. Vera Pecco. There is a hidden room in one of these places. And Dora, stop speaking in riddles. Oh, okay. I meant to, like, explore, but it just shot me right back up. I guess I'll have to poke around for hidden rooms. I want to see if there's anything down here that I missed real quickly. I doubt that the answer is yes. But... Making my way downtown. Alright, I think... Okay, we can't do anything in here. This is where we uh, came out when we jumped into the time hole, I believe. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything I can do out here. It's just cold. Alright, let's look for hidden rooms. Everyone's favorite game. Pandora. I really like the music in this area. It's very nice. Very pretty. Very chill. Edge. Yeah, the music is chill. I don't think the hidden room is in here. I'm gonna try the other city now. Okay, can't actually go around the back there. I didn't want to talk about the blackbird again. There's something, like, glowing up there, and I'm suspicious of it, but I don't think I can reach it from here. Pfft. 
Yes, the Sun Temple. Okay. Oh? Wind. Fire. Wind makes fire dance. Activated. Okay. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. Oh! -ho! Obtained an unidentifiable object. But inside is a black gemstone. Andorra. Nice. I found it. I found the funny magic books. I'm sure someone's like, hey, who left these funny magic books open? Put that out. That one's on fire. It all began aeons ago, when man's ancestor stumbled upon a shard of strange red rock. Its power was beyond human comprehension. It cultivated dreams and gave birth to love and hate. Only time will tell how it ends. Neat! Enables Eternal Darkness Triple Tech. Uh, <laughs> ominous. I will just hang on to that, I think. Okay, we found the hidden room. Hooray. Do you have another riddle? No. Okay. I'm still curious about whatever is glowing up there. But it might have to wait. Andorra. Eternal Darkness? That's a good game! Ah, uh, the activation noise must have been me running over that thing earlier. <sighs> I'm trying to think. Eternal Darkness... Is that the one on the on the GameCube? Where, like, at one point it pretends to erase your memory card as, like, a fake-out? Also does a lot of play with multiple perspectives. If I remember correctly, if I'm remembering the right game. Vera Peko. It is a good game. I'm not much of a horror person. Vera Peko. When you have low sanity bar, you get all sorts of fun things like that. Andorra. Lots of weird sanity effects. Yes. Fun! I will not be streaming it. <laughs> I'm probably never playing it. I am a chicken. Okay. Now that we found uh, the hidden room and bothered all the people, let's go to the palace. That's backwards. Hang on. Okay. Hedge. I remember when it came out, seeing it in the store. I only remember, like, reading about it other places. Let me save real quick, just in case something horrible happens in this palace. Hang on, Vera Peko's gesturing at me. What? I bothered everyone, I got the secret room. What is it? <laughs> Chrono is very impatient. Sorry, Goku, that's what we named him. We went to the two cities, we went to the Blackbird. Pandora. One of my favorite tricks that the game does is bring up a screen at the end of an early chapter that thanks you for playing the demo. Vera Peko, is it too late to go back down to ice and then go back to the first island? 
literally I did that already. I went to that city. I went to that city and then I went to the other city. Is there more? Because I don't think there is. It didn't look like there was. Literally the first island just has a couple skyways in a city. And the city over there is where they were like, go find the hidden room, a woo. There's a secret room full of new also. Jesus, fine, we'll go look for the new. Ugh. But then after that, we're going to the palace. Hedge, the new room. That's what I'm gonna be saying if I get off track to go to this palace one more time. Yeah, I was I was in Inhasa and I didn't see anything anything else, so and Doreen was like, go find the secret room, Awu. And I thought that was the one with the black gemstone in it, where we found that weird little thing on the floor. In the other city. They both have it in rooms? My god, okay. Okay, Chrono Trigger! I don't know, I bothered every single wall and nothing happened. Maybe there's some magic books I gotta open here, too. There are. Okay. There's more magic books. Okay. It's, uh, Water, Wind, Fire, right? Okay, we found the wind book. We found the fire book. Oh, okay. There, there's your secret new room. The guru of reason is gone. Do you want to challenge me? No, I see. I'm gonna go read this book first and then I'll challenge you. Hedge says, gee zeal, why do you get two hidden rooms? The mystery of life, volume 841, chapter 26. All life begins and ends with new. This is the undeniable truth because I believe it to be so. At least for the present. D did he write the book? Okay. Alright, now I'll challenge you. Alright, prepare yourselves. Oh! There's so many! Uh-oh. I think maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Luckily, Ayla is very good at casting kill. Uh-oh, not good enough. They're still alive. Omega Sonic. A friend! Is it a friend? It's trying to kill me. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Why did you tag that one? I hate it here. Die. I'm gonna die! They killed me! Weaklings new. Okay. Is that how you wanna play it? I'm gonna show you the power of throwing a guy.
Hedge, all is new and new is all. Oh, my God, like, new, 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 new. <laughs> Andorra, I love these guys. Hedge, this music, it's very Lion King SNES. Andorra, roar at the monkeys. Fear Pecco, oh, new. Oh, no, new, oh, new. All right, I'm going to show you the power of throwing a guy. And also AoE attacks, both of which I need Robo for. Ah, oh, what? We didn't heal? Okay. We're gonna hit all of you guys. And then I'm gonna hit you. Oh, Robo's dead. Okay. It's fine. I can throw you by myself. I guess now we know what the recovery panels are here for. This garbage. Really? You all get to go first? I'm in pain. Wow, thanks. Weaklings, he says, like he didn't summon six copies of himself. Jerk. Alright, I'm gonna show you the power of throwing a guy. You do not all need to go first. I swear. Ow, was that not enough to kill him? I hate everything. Okay. Oh my god. This room is the worst. Why did you guys want me to come in here? Look what you've done. You've killed my friends so many times. Why did you want me to go in there? Why? <laughs> Every day I suffer. Try throwing a different guy. Let's try throwing frog. Fear Peko, they have a speed and magic capsule if you want to decide it's worth winning. I'll try one more time and then we'll move on to things we can actually do. Okay, that is in fact enough to kill. However... Uh, we can only take out one. If Rock dies, I'm gonna be upset. That does like nothing. Okay. Let's just. <laughs> uh, just, 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 just hurry up. End, end my suffering. Okay, we're done. Okay. Getting out of here. 
No, it is not worth it. <laughs> the recovery panel's over here. Okay. Vera Fecko. Three new will do HP to one, and three will do one damage. I did not know that. Now you do! Also, I hate all of them. Every single one of them. Hate. I opened the new room, and at what cost? Death. Are you proud of yourself? gonna go to the palace. <laughs> Fear of Echo, I saw we. Yes, you should be. <laughs> Look how much I died. <laughs> Special stream where I do nothing but bother the news in the new room. If I hit 800 billion patrons right now. <laughs> Okay. Now we'll go to the palace. This is the Queen's Palace and the center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal. Which is to say, this is the center of the universe. Okay, whatever. The music got ominous. Not a fan. That man appeared only recently, but he earned the t Queen's trust quickly with his startlingly accurate predictions. His origins are a mystery. He's not one of us enlightened ones, but nor is he an earthbound one. From where could such a man have come? I don't know, space? Things come from space in this game. Okay, I can't go down there. Were you aware that Balthazar, the guru of reason, maintained secret chambers in, in Hassan Kajar? I did find them. One of them is full of news. Oh, okay, we can't go down here. It's just like this. The Queen's two children, Lady Shala and Lord Janus, get along so well. If only young Lord Janus would open up to others. This is not a magic book. Disappointed. That pendant of yours. It looks like Lady Shala's, but it doesn't glow like hers. Oh boy, glowing pendants continue to be important. The source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once its exact location was determined, we began constructing the Ocean Palace there. The portal to the Ocean Palace is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. I can't wait to teleport into the Ocean Palace and drown instantly. That wandering prophet is amazing. Every prophecy to escape his lips has come to pass. It's as though he already knows the events to come. Unnerving, is it not? My, what strange clothes. You must be travelers from afar. Use the font of recovery if you'd like to recuperate from your long journey. Do you like plants? Absolutely. I love them too, but the queen ordered me to burn this tiny sapling I received from the guru of life. He said it was a special tree with powers to restore the earth. Oh, what shall I do? Grow it in secret. Rebellion, rebellion. We are Becca. It'll be fine. You're right. Queen's orders, though they may be, it wouldn't do to burn a gift from the Guru of Life. Very well, then I'll care for it somewhere safe and secret. Someday it just may help someone else who loves the earth and trees. Oh, it was that thing. I'm like, oh ho, something activated. No. Another random new. They're just everywhere. Right, that's downstairs. You would do best to speak to the Queen of the Gurus if you wish to learn of the Mammon Machine in the Ocean Palace. But just between you and I, I'd not place much faith in any answers Her Majesty gave you right now. She's been different as of late. Uh-oh! The Queen's Council, Lord Dalton, was in charge of the Ocean Palace's construction until a wandering prophet arrived and took over. Lord Dalton's in a foul mood these days. Best avoid him if you can. 
the completion of the Ocean Palace will secure everlasting glory for the Kingdom of Zeal. There will be no more fear or sadness, only eternal peace. Hmm, somehow I feel like that's not gonna happen. Mostly because I've seen several wars that are in the future from here. This way we'll take you to the bedchambers. The queen must have borne a great deal of pain and sorrow in silence. Progress requires equal sacrifice. Much must have been given to allow Zeal to attain the glory it now knows. Vera Pecco. Re the plant. Rebellion! Mammon machine? That can't be good! That's greed! I feel like this is maybe a little heavy-handed about it. <laughs> Lady Shala's pendant was made from the same redstone as the mammon machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. I'm sure that's normal and fine. Ah. Here's Jonas and Shala. Shala. Oh, Jonas, you've returned. Is something wrong? The black winds. You feel the foreboding, too? Don't worry. It will be all right. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish that I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. That's not our Mother! She looks like her, but she's not the same inside! Even still, forgive me, Jonas. Pardons, Your Highness. The Queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive me, my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, I'll f I fear I'll be... Well, you know the queen. Of course, my apologies. Go away! Fair enough. Just wanted to make sure I could read that book on the table. This way leads to the Queen's audience chamber. Cool, go there last. Listen to me, the Earth is alive and always has been. She changes slowly so you never see it. From flat lands into mountains, from mountains into seas, a way might, may someday open even to the forbidden shrine in the north or to the Sun Temple, but it could take untold years. Good thing this game is all about time travel. Oh, thank you. This way leads to the Mammon Machine Chamber. That, okay. Let's go look at it. The Prophet's aura is clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Beyond lies the Mammon Machine Chamber. You can feel the glorious energy of lava surging from it. Uh-oh! The Mammon Machine? You came to see it? I thought as much. Can you feel the flow of the mighty lava's power? Oh, it brings tears to my eyes. Maybe we shouldn't go in here yet, actually. Maybe we should make sure we talk to everyone else in this dang palace first. They say that Gaspar, the guru of time, continues his work on some deserted island. He strives to make a time egg or some such nonsense, but no one has seen him for years. Hmm, I think I know that name from somewhere, but I'm not sure. Even Balthazar, who designed the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace, has vanished. How strange that the three gurus who guided Zeal to its present glory have all disappeared at once. Yep, probably not a plot or anything. Omega Sonic, run in, hit it with Yugi. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, I talked to you already. Beings that are born of dreams must always return to them in the end. But at times, people's dreams and prayers call upon the power of Lavos and are made reality. I wonder how the Guru of Life is doing. What are we supposed to do without him? Humans, I'll tell ya. I want to be the wind, Masa! Oh, you will someday if you try hard enough. Oh, it's them. Ugh. Our big sister Doreen went to Enhasa again. Yeah, she likes to dream. I like the wind better than dreams. Whoosh. It's them.
Okay. I'm going to save out here again. I know I've saved out here like three different times, but... Okay. Oh, Mega Sonic Re, go hit the Mammon Machine with Yugi. It is a fantastic idea. That lady's line about dreams hits really hard. I actually think those lines were added specifically for this version. Interesting. Okay. So, I'm... Okay, you know what? We saved. Let's go to the Queen's room, and if that advances the plot, then we can always reload. Ah, the pendant. Okay. Vera Pecco. Most likely because the Steam version has a different translation from the SNES version. Zeal's very good, though. Her Majesty said she'd business at the Ocean Palace, and I might pass until her return. Your pendant. It looks identical to Lady Shala's. I heard that when Lady Shala communes with the Mammon Machine, her pendant glows with a strange light. That door cannot be opened from the outside, save with a powerful magic key like Lady Shala's pendant. Your pendant looks identical! Strange. Why no move? There must be something different about that pendant. Now we go to the Mammon Machine. Okay. We gotta go charge it there. And or hit it. <laughs> if the Mammon Machine is moved to the Ocean Palace, we can extract even more energy from Lavos. The dream of eternal life will be made possible. Oh, almighty queen! Our kingdom will reign for all eternity. No, it won't. <laughs> this is the front. Of, this is the font of Zeal's power, the Mammon Machine. It draws and magnifies. It draws and magnifies the limitless power of Lavos. Oh, that pendant! It looks just like Lady Shallows. When she clutches her pendant and prays to the Mammon Machine, the pendant radiates a strange light. It's almost as if it was speaking to the device in a language only the two of them could understand. I get it. Charge the pendant at the machine. Operating the Mammon Machine requires magic powerful enough to regulate the energy the machine extracts. Excepting the gurus, Lady Shala is the only one with such power. The three gurus constructed the mammon machine from a reddish stone that has been kept in the royal treasury for generations. The guru of life, Melchior. The swordsman? The swordsman in the present, bro? <laughs> Was in charge of the plans and conducted a great deal of research on the nature of Lavos, but now... Well, I'm sure you know the rest. Melchior, the guru of life, opposed the queen's plans and disappeared shortly thereafter. It pains me to consider some conspiracy may be at work, but it is terribly suspicious. When the mammon machine was finished, the queen became a different person almost overnight. A much colder one. Just between us, I heard that any who oppose her majesty, and not just the earthbound ones, vanish and are never heard from again. Hmm, yeah, I'm sure that's normal. I'm sure that's normal and regular and fine. <laughs> if you're a Pekko. Little smug little cat face at the Melchior name drop here. Omega Sonic. I know there was an ending added into the DS version, which I think this is based on. Yeah, that makes sense. What with the updated translation and all. Alright, let's hold up the pendant. Eh! That's really red. <laughs> eh, it's really blue. <laughs> no door can bar the way of scientific progress. Yugi go. Don't be scared, Goku. Okay, I will not be scared. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty. These are the bringers of disaster of whom I spoke. Oh no! Not disaster! Indeed, they and the gurus alike. How dare you outlanders attempt to oppose me? Fools one and all. Dalton sees them. Yes, your majesty, with pleasure. Golem? Uh-oh. Have 
HP. Gross. Okay. Well, um, Shunt's dead. Oh, okay. I think I might have been supposed to lose that. <laughs> it, it didn't, like, send me to a game over screen. We'll see, though. Fear not. I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. Ah, what a delicious diversion. Okay, yeah, we were supposed to lose. Maybe. It's fine. Idiots. What will you do, Shala? Let us help them. I don't think it'll be of any use. And you'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. And they just might be able to rescue Melchior. Are you alright? Quickly, you must flee the palace. And if you can, please free the Guru of Life. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing my mother's plan. Please, you must help him. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Uh-oh! Vera Pecco. That is a hopeless boss fight, but you can win it with some level grinding. I'm guessing you get a special treat if you do. And then thrown in prison anyway. <laughs> Your meddling tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. Don't! Even the cat is yelling at you. Omega Sonic. New Game Plus is when all that fun usually happens. Good to know. <laughs> Very well, I'll spare their lives. But in return, you will cooperate with me, Shala. Now show me how it is you came here. So you came through here. Now, Shala, once I throw them in, you will seal the portal shut. No, you can't make me. You will obey me. Their lives are at stake. I... Very well. I'm sure we'll find another way in. Please forgive me. It's fine, Chala. We'll be fine. Oh, okay. We went back to the past. The Prophet could have just as easily killed us. They take Lavos' power. Lavos get weak? Wait! The crest on that sealed door! We've seen it elsewhere, haven't we? I was gonna say, yeah, in the future! But the game told us that right away. A curious crest is engraved here, and a mysterious force seals it shut. We may find our way back to that era yet. Let's get cracking! Okay. Away we go! What's this? Oh. Sunshine? 
I don't know if we have the uh, moonstone that needs to charge for a million years, but uh, I'm guessing we'll have to put it here if we get our hands on it. Okay! The world is a circle! water all gone before it never happened. Uh-oh! I can't heal? That's unfortunate. Is there stuff to trade for here? You come see me. What you have? Fang, petal, horn, feather. Give me six. Three each. Two kinds. Give you a good strong thing. Uh, I think I've done all these trades, though. No! I wanted to say no! Ah! I don't think these have updated. Okay. Let's go to a time gate. Pardon me, guys. Thank you. Jump down? Of course. Whee! Okay, you're still here. You've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way to move through time more freely should you wish to return. I recall someone working on such a device. The Wings of Time, I believe he called it. Sadly, I fear the man's mind left him in the course of those long years of research. Eh. Okay, let's see if... Hey! Oh! Oh, you got big. Okay, uh... Hey there, sweetheart! Unfortunately, you were born before magic ex existed, so casting spells is right out. If it's any consolation, you seem to have plenty of other assets. Ahem. You got big. Okay, so Ayla just can't learn magic because magic didn't happen yet. Everyone afterwards, though, can use magic, including, like, the people in the Sky Kingdom. Pandora. Excuse me, Speccio! Yeah, Speccio, you're a weirdo. Okay. I've heard there's a trick to beating him, but you have to be- But, like, the, your highest leveled character has to be, like- Like, Speccio gets tougher every ten levels. I was reading. So, since Chrono is at level 30 right now- Goku! Excuse me. He's our highest level. So- if I say level him up to level 39, then Speccio won't change until he hits 40. And so that would be an ideal try time to try and fight him. Unfortunately, that is not the case. <laughs> Nintendo nerd. Oh, Speccio is significantly larger than the last time I saw him. Her assets are her fists. Yeah, it's her ability to punch anything to death. That gate leads to 1999 AD, the day of Lavos. If you wish to see the world destroyed before your very eyes, then by all means go. But know that you yourselves may share the same fate. No, thank you. <laughs> Nintendo assets, throw a guy. Exactly. Okay, uh, we just saved. Who wants to watch the end of the world? Not me. To you guys, though? I don't know. If you're a Pekko. There's nothing stopping you from walking right into the final fight aside from dying in one turn. Andorra, have you tried going there yet? I think I'm underleveled. But if you guys really want to see me die so badly, why is this a theme with the stream? First the new room, and then you guys are all, oh yeah, totally, go fight Lavos in 1999. It'll be fine. You'll just perish instantly. <laughs> May 
Maybe of assistance, yes. Fine, we'll try. We're gonna die so much. The mode 7 is strong with this one. Cool! I love a terrifying heartbeat soundtrack. Energy reading at 100, 200, and increasing! He's strong! 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 Apparently people have hacked it so that you can actually explore this map properly, but there's not a whole lot to do. Since you're not supposed to be able to explore it properly. Omega Sonic. Wait, are we? Oh, we are. Okay. Offensive capabilities incalculable. <laughs> Dead nerd. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. We're gonna die. I'm telling you all that now. Ah, uh, he looks like one of those little floor guys in Metroid. You know, the little, like, zoomers. Or gamers, or whatever they are, depending on what name it, what game it is. Shall we go? Actually, you know what? I'm afraid. Bye. Goodbye. 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 I'm not doing this. I'm a coward. We're leaving. Nope. 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 We're leaving. We're leaving. We're leaving. Goodbye. 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 Omega Sonic, behold the original giant space flea from nowhere. <laughs> Vera Pecco, it is one. <laughs> Dead nerd laughing. You can just go? We're time travelers, it's not important. Vera Pecco, it is a gamer. This is why Samus needs to kill them with extreme prejudice. And Dora, it does kind of look like a gamer. Okay. Uh, let's see. I think we're supposed to go to the future. Which one is this? Literally, I forgot. That's my house. This is where we just came from. Vera Pecco, I would drop a fun fact if I get spoiled text here. No spoils! I know this game is a million years old and most people have absorbed the twists by osmosis, but no spoils. Omega Sonic. Samus versus Lavos. Get eaten, drop power bombs, profit. Edge. Pekko, you can tell me on Discord. <laughs> okay, that's Truce Canyon. That's the village. Okay, we need this one. The one in the middle. The last one. Yes. Now, I don't remember where anything is in the future because we haven't had to go for a while, so... use the jet bike, because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it, and don't you dare check it out. Oh, we gotta race again? wasn't as tough as the last time. Andorra, I think I might know what the fun fact is, so I'll just pretend you said it. That is a pretty fun fact! <laughs> I 
Sheriff Echo. I think you actually can just walk through the world map if you don't want to do the race. I mean, I can probably take on everything in one shot now. Right, so that's the, that's the sewers. I don't think this is where we need to go yet. I don't remember what dome it was in. Was it in this dome? Oh, whew, I was gonna be like, didn't there used to be people here? There are people here. They're still here. It's fine. Hey, you're back! So I am. Mom said daddy's somewhere far away now. Don't worry, I won't give up. I have this child to raise and that sapling. Yeah, raise the tree! Wonder what kind of fruit that thing will bear. Oh, it's you! Look, the seed has sprouted. So it has. Good job, guys. Since you've come, everyone seems to have regained their will to survive. It appears your energy is contagious. You can reach the continent to the south through the sewers, but I wouldn't advise it. That's where Death Peak sits, the source of all this devastation. And even someone as strong as you would never stand a chance against the mutants that live down in those sewers. I almost did okay the first time I went. Omega Sonic Re, the race. Check out that sweet Mode 7. We do love Mode 7 in this house. There's an old man living in a dome he built near Death Peak. Said he wanted to monitor it. Talk about crackpots. The door with the crest? Push it, pull it, bash it, the thing won't budge. Door with the crest. Do you have money? You sure this is money? Well, here's what I have. Uh, I outclass all this stuff right now. Is that, is that door here? Or is that in another part? <laughs> ah, nuts. No, okay, this is the right way. It's fine, we're fine. That said, is this the building we need to be in? Heck if I know, it's been too long. Noisy, noisy, noisy. Oh, there was something. I don't think that's the door we're looking for, but it's a door. The pen begins to glow. Treats! Luminous robe. Elixir. Acucity ring. Golden earring. Strength capsule. Ooh, you can wear the luminous robe. That's cool. And then I'll have a spare uh, Mesozoic male. Let's do it. Okay, now you can have that. Sweet, we got treats. Oh, buddy, we're gonna kill you so bad. Look, he's dead. Right, we never recovered from prison. No, I want you, and I want you. Okay, well, we got killed by rats because I didn't heal upstairs. Okay. Well, 
Well, now we just gotta sneak better. It's not sneaking better. Tender. You ambushed that poor little rat in the dark. Look how scared he is. The rat killed me. Don't bully me. Let's rest. We're still hungry. Alright, well, we got some treats. That's good. We like treats. Okay. That's right. I had you there so that uh, we could figure out some dual techs. That's right. That's why you're there. is better. Okay, never mind. Never mind, you can keep that. Yep, that, that, can, can I get around these NPCs, please? Thanks. We're a feco. Jade, why do you look upset about being hungry? It's, it's solidarity. Well, that's not a problem. Since you do no damage at all. Nice. Goodbye. Yeah! We learned some dual tech. Oh yeah, I forgot about those things. I, uh, forget what their deal is. High evasion? High evasion. Every single one of Aelith's attacks is throwing a guy or being thrown. And I appreciate and respect that. and good for you. Another one? Ugh, there's so many you jerks. Okay. It's fine. Go over there.
I just want to make sure we have all of our, like, uh, dual techs rounded out. I think we do, in fact, have to go up from here. Yeah. Bye. Those rats will steal our things if we're not careful. Amazing. Quadruple digits so strong. I probably don't need to be using magic on these guys, actually. But, you know, it's fun. Amazing! I don't know if they have a triple tech necessarily. Or if they do, I don't know if I have all the stuff for it. Alright, let's figure out your guys' dual tech also now. icebergs of people. That sounds like a great time for everyone. Let's try it. Alright, uh, iceberg is like area. This is just one. Or it's a smaller one. Echo says, Chrono, Frog, and Ayla do have a triple tech. You need a triple kick from Ayla for it. Frog and Chrono need their first techs. Okay. I don't know if she has her triple kick yet. I'll just keep her in the party so that she gets it. She has a charm. She doesn't have a triple kick yet, though. lucky. It's near our time gate. The pendant begins to glow. If I take this time gate, will it activate another slot at the end of time? It would just be convenient if I could use this one. Vera Peko, triple kick is her last skill, sadly. Uh, I guess they had to do something to keep her from becoming too powerful. I believe it should. It should unlock this one and the one in Guardia Forest. Okay, let's open that. I like having options. Nice. Yes! Very cool. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have to do everything again. Mm -hmm. 
Treasures, okay. Alluring top, huh? Hi, Ether. And a workman's wallet. Can... <laughs> Darn. Goku can't wear the alluring top, everybody. Oh, you can't either. It must be like a quest item or something then. Or, or it's like a different equipable. Like one of these. Boost max HP by 50. Boost success rate of charm. Ah, oh, that's 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 for you. Okay. Turns EXP into gold. No thank you. I like EXP. Fear Peko. Ayla only boosts charm steal success rate. Okay. It's a steal? What does she have right now? Oh, it, boof it beefs her strength up so much. Mm. We'll, we'll see how charm works. And then if we, like, feel a burning need, then we can grab the top. Alright, let's go to the Tran Dome. She can steal stuff, including rare stuff from bosses. Well, I'm keeping her forever then. I hope nobody minds. Got any cash? Yes. Is this real? Never seen money like this before. Eh, it's the same junk as before. Okay. So there are still people in Aerostone, too. What's this? A plant, you say? What's a plant? Don't worry about it. It's strange. Looking at that thing makes me want to keep on living. I've never seen a thing like this before. I made it through the ruins with a cutting from the sapling that grew from that seed. Amazing what you can do when you think you're dead anyway. That thing edible? <laughs> it will be! Stud and high ether. Ah. Lots of MP consumption reduces. Interesting, delicious. One day I'll actually equip items to people. But none of these were the door I was looking for. There's a specific one. I think I might have to actually go through the ruins now. And by the ruins, I actually mean the sewers. Wait, what am I doing? I have a time gate. That'll put me in the right place. Let's go, gang! a little more rhyme and reason to these gates. <laughs> like, they would, like, be across from where they actually went. I don't know. <sighs> There's one of these things right here. The whole time. Ugh. Oh well. Let me just make sure there's no, like, secret doors here in the factory. I don't remember. It can't hurt to look. Ooh, there's something over there that I don't think we ever got the chance to open. I 
don't know if we went this way. I think the equipment is not worth it anymore. <laughs> Interesting. Well, he's dead. They're just rolling with it, and that's great. Throwing a guy! Every single one! Every single tech those two that she has with anyone is throwing a guy. And I think that's beautiful. Someone gets tossed. That's just how it is. Like, I am cool, and don't, don't use weapons, so you don't have to buy me stuff, and I will throw a guy. Heard of level grinds, but this is silly. Went the whole circuit. I'm I'm disappointed that I have to do it again. <laughs> okay, throw a guy. can get uh, picked up and put somewhere else. Oh, no, never mind. It just doesn't... <laughs> okay, so if we run into any robots, we have to do the thing. That's dumb, but okay. Well, at least we're getting EXP out of it, I guess.
Wait, what am I doing? I should have thrown a guy. Oh well. I think after a while they'd realize what was happening. You'd think they'd be like, oh no, it's those adventures, and then make themselves scarce. But they don't, ever. Should not have happened. Uh. Ozzy gets trapped on a conveyor belt. Ah, I forgot to throw a guy. Oh well. Vera Pecco, rude robot. So rude. We're not gonna hit any robots. We're not gonna hit any more robots. here then. Nothing. Just an empty doorway. What the, what the heck? Okay. Go this way, I guess. No, we've been here already. I'm not seeing any paths. I wish I could turn these off, so I didn't have to fight the robots every single freaking time. I want the bonus treats.
Unless I can only get it on my first visit, which would be a pain. Or maybe I need Robo, which is less of a pain because I can just switch to him. I might need Robo. Okay. Come here, Robo. Yeah, we have to throw a guy. The ultimate tech. That didn't change anything. Robo, help me. like this one strip I can do. It won't let me go forward. Which is the thing. The incredibly annoying thing. But it looks like there's other stuff I can access, right? You would think that. But like it stops me right there. No matter what I do. to go through it again, but okay. Room after the first place. Let's try. Nope, we're just gonna go through again. Okay, fine. A shame I can't bully it into letting me go sooner. Alright, it's time for our practice throw a guy technique. We probably didn't need to do that, there's only one guy. But you know, it's still fun. <sighs> now we can throw a guy. slash robo like I didn't get to do anything but I'm here Hopefully this will be the last time we do this. Okay, is that an exit? So it was. I am a fool, and the fool is me. Now we're gonna fight some bugs! We're, we're just gonna punch them. There should be stuff in this area that helps you open more of the factory section. Neat! I love being able to explore rooms. Oh, fell asleep. I see. Aha! There we go.
the other one, silly. Nope. Yeah, figured that'd happen. Oh well, we can take him. sort of like vaguely blinked at me with a sprite. Okay. Look at all these treats I missed the first time through. Ah, there's more. Okay. the crane, wait for the tone, and white flesh, and then press any two of Y, X, B, and A, one after the next. Okay. I don't know what I just did, but it's moving that barrel, I guess. Thunderblade. Oof! We were supposed to get this so much earlier. Oh no! everything. Nope. Okay. Did I try BY? Let me make sure. Nope. Okay. That doesn't work. XY? Nope. XB? No. Why, why did something? Okay. Yeah, move that barrel out of the way. I don't know what it does, but move it. I didn't know we could double up on buttons. I think that's all we can do here. But we did it. Hooray! Yeah. Huh? 
All right. Now to explore the rest of the factory. Why did we come here? Oh yeah, to look for one of those doors. That's why. Ah, eh, fine. Love the sick flips to go get a guy. She's like, I'll throw myself at a guy! Right, we were looking for a door. I don't know if there's a door in here that requires our pendant, but I'm looking. Ah yes, sadness room. Just right there. Okay. Okay, I'm a fool. Down again? Ah. I'm a fool. Every single time I am tricked. here. Let's go. Sewers is on the other side of this, I think. Is it? Yeah, that's that's the sewer dome. Watch out, buddy. I'm in my level 30s. It looks like there's treats here. Alright, alright. Let's hit everyone with lightning! recorder. Okay. She just jumps at them and they die. Amazing. She's, she's too much, dude. I love it. Look at me. 
That's terrifying. Don't look at me, please. I'm very afraid of you. Ugh. Don't look at me when I hit you! Yeah, are you, like, stealing my life? That's gross. You can't have that. Gross. Yeah, those guys weren't too bad. Alright, I'm gonna use the, um... Revive... thing here. The Reviver? The one that leaves us always hungry. I'm gonna use it. Enertron. But you're still hungry. We're gonna save that we've done all that silly exploration nonsense. And now we're gonna go to the sewers. It's not the way out. We gotta go this way. Wait, hang on. I just realized there's another path in here. We'll get to the sewers eventually. Alright, so we already took that way. We need to take this way now. I just- I just want to see if there's more doors that I can open with my new powers. dead guy. That's not powers. It's not a door I can open with powers. Just making sure there's no, like, alternate paths here. Decorative rat. Everyone's favorite. This way, I think. Yes. Alright. No secrets. No more secrets, anyway, in here. Okay, now we're really gonna go to the sewer. For real. should have an easier time of it, at least. Then the last time we tried to come over here. Last time we came over here, one of the little minions was like complaining that the bridges were moving. And it wasn't his fault, he swear. I'm through, can't take any more of this. The fishermen attack if I make the slightest noise. If I knew things would be like this, I'd have taken the gu guillotine any day of the week. I think I'll go with a good loud scream, see how the Saki freaks like that. This cat is a trick. Luckily, we can kill them in one hit. We are very powerful. Oh boy! Free chips! And soda. Oh no, it was a trick after all. No free lunch here. Do you all have to go, really? He's 
darn fish. Oh boy, a free cheese. called rat. You have these fantastic enemy names and then you have rat. Yep. Even the save point makes noise. Apparently. No noises allowed, not even save point. Luckily these guys go down in one hit. Ooh, critical. Critical hit on the fish. to circle around to press the switch. just have to press the switch and the bridge will extend across, Ribbit. So switch it on already, Ribbit! Ribbit! Can't reach it, Ribbit! And you call yourself a frog, Ribbit. Someone's coming! Let's scram, Ribbit! Neat, we can flip switches and make bridges happen. I love it. Rage band. There's three of them, and they're almost here. Waltzing through the sewers like they own the place, eh? Must have a death wish. We'll teach him a little respect. Yes! Yes, we will. Hee hee hee! Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver, pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when we're done. Gwa ha ha ha! Hee hee hee! Har har har! Ha ha ha! Hee hee hee! <gasps> huh? I'll mash you to goo! Ooh, rude. You also know the art of throw a guy. Oh, okay. Oh. What's happening? Did he perish? Did we perish him already? Wow, two hits, amazing. <laughs> Hedge, I love these little frogs. We are Pekka, I love this bit. Wow, well, Robo almost died, but we killed him, so it's fine. We are Pekka, you're either over or under leveled for the sewers. Fun!
Thunderblade. That's like the second Thunderblade I found, I think. Wow. Ooh, okay, so this is where we need to go. I'm gonna keep messing around in the sewers, though. Because there's more treats in here. Looks like it deployed a few bridges. Wait a second. This is just a circle. There's not a whole lot to it, is there? Ah well. I guess there's not more to do in the sewer. Aside from, you know, random enemy encounters. I can't believe that guy almost killed Robo and then it was like, actually you'll die when um, Ayla breathes on you. Okay, let's, let's just go up then since there actually isn't anything else to do in the sewers. Trolley was it, guys. Keeper stone. New sure do be random assistance everywhere. Please do not disturb my slumber. All right, I'm sorry. the door. I am Belthazar, the guru of reason, and formerly of the kingdom of zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core. There he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. Lavo's form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by a mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Peak as his throne. Or nest as it may well be. His miniature spawn now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite. A parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself in an age such as this. An endeavor I fear may be futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Is it the new outside? Ever did I long to return home and toil endlessly in search of a way, but as I neared the completion of my research, so did I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it in your hands, you who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time and let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then, only then, you just may be able to stop Lavos. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a t chance. You who have opened the door, the fate of the world is in your hands. Open now the final door, and claim what awaits you. My last and greatest work, the Wings of Time. Oh ho! I want to see the Wings of Time. <gasps> it's the airship from the intro! Oh ho ho ho! 
This must be the invention mentioned in his recordings, the wings of time. Oh! What this thing? How do I get in? How do I get on? How do I get into your ship? I need someone specific in my party or what? Need to talk to Balth again. Oh! Or that can happen! Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Balthazar! I copied my memory into this thing! Oh, okay! What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there's something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press X to display the time gauge, then select the area you wish to visit. Ah, yes. I didn't come see you before. Uh, okay. What's what's up? Before you go, why don't you give a name to my time machine? Oh, we get to name it. Oh, guys, what what are we gonna call? It? What are we gonna? What are we gonna rename this thing? I don't have room for a space. I can't call it the T limo. <laughs> it just looked like Tlimo. What does that even mean? I know it means the time limo, but I can't call it that. Calling it a limo would be pretty funny though. <laughs> Time travel vehicle stand? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Omega Sonic says, Stan go burr. I guess we're naming it Stan! <laughs> Is Stan correct? Everyone get in the Stan! <laughs> well then, hop aboard! Oh boy! How do I hop aboard? How do I hop aboard? <laughs> How do I hop aboard? Instructions for the time of seniors follows. Board, disembark. Okay. How do I board? It says A to board. It won't let me board. I can't bring up the time gauge if I'm not inside. Sir. Chrono trigger, but the game ends because I can't. Okay, there we go. It was behind him. There we go. Mumble, mumble. Cool, we can go to the end of time. Okay, uh, where were we going? Ah, yes. Stan, 
Sam, take off! Unbelievable energy readings! It's as if the total mental energy of all humans who ever lived were being amplified! This great! Fast! Fast! <laughs> Sit. Down. The stand is capable of this? Amazing. It looks like we crashed the stand. <laughs> Movie Rebecca, I am the best at naming things? Oh! Hey, we can go up the stairs now. This is Algeti, the village of the Earthbound. We Earthbound once were banished from Zeal because we are possessed of no magical talents. There's like people here now, that's fun. The mud beast den is dangerous. You shouldn't play around, Dale. Okay, child. I will go play there immediately. Omega Sonic. I love the part where the dumb kid with no mechanical knowledge suddenly knows how to operate the hyper advanced time machine. I love that we didn't get to see who was riding with us. This tunnel connects to a mud beast den, and beyond the mouth of the den lies the great chain that anchors the mountain of woe to the earth. The Guru of Life voiced opposition to the Queen's plan, so he was banished to the Mountain of Woe. Okay, so we gotta go to the Mountain of Woe either way. Would you like to rest here for the night? Uh, I'm good, thank you. In times past, the enlightened ones and we earthbound ones lived as one. One, 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 one. Alright, so I'll have to go to the Mud Beast eventually. I realize something very important I need to do with my time travel, but first let me explore this whole place. The Queen has installed the Mammon Machine in the Ocean Palace in an attempt to absorb Lavos' energy, but there is there not peril in such a thing? The Guru li of Life said as much, but it only led her to imprison him upon the Mountain of Woe. I fear there's little we can do. The Guru of Life said that young Lord Janus possessed power with him exceeding even that of Lady Shala. But then the Queen lost her mind and the young Lord grew to hate that power and all the suffering causes Lady Shala. Now he hides it, denies it, and shuts it from his thoughts. Many inhabitants of this land were taken to build the Ocean Palace, and none were ever seen again. Cheerful! Might I interest you in some goods? Yeah, what you got? Oh! Oh ho! Oh, we've got treats galore! Yes, I think I will take your treats. give him something that's not Masamune. Wild. That's not even getting into armor. Oh man. Okay, we can 
can only buy three of these. So many. It's a good thing we had all that gold, sheesh. go messing around with the mountain of woe there's something very important I need to do with my cool time travel powers it's super important you guys you don't understand Thanks for dumping us in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Gracious, who are you? Me, Yugi. Yugi, dear, a young lady shouldn't dress like that. But Yugi, like! No buts, the proper response is yes, ma'am. Goku strong. Goku mom strong, too. <laughs> My mother is taking issue with Yugi running around dressed like this. Amazing. Okay. There, that was very important. I hope you all agree. Oh, we should also go to the house and see what uh, gear Taban has. Perfect timing. A suit! Another great invention just completed. Ultimate in defense. Oh, another one. I want to see if they're any good on her, actually. I might outclass it right now. Oh, no! It's actually really good! <laughs> it's better! This robe that I just got. Oh man, oh no. <laughs> Take it, okay. Here, you can have that. We are 
Feco. I hate the next upcoming two bosses so much. That does not fill me with confidence. Alright, I need to sell one of these luminous robes back because um, our suit is really cool that we just got. This is why we check in with Taban. The vest may have been a fluke, but everything else so far. Antiquity, let's go. Actually, I am wondering about something. Will they yell at me if I go to uh, the city again? <laughs> I need to find out. I need to find out how angry they'll be at me if I go to the city. <laughs> the way is sealed. Oh, oh well. All right. I guess they're so angry that I'm not allowed to even visit. That's fine, I guess. Oh darn, I guess I can't access the horrible new room anymore. So sad. Is it in here? Yes. as well sell the stone helm as well. We'll do our best with our power of throwing a guy. I just have so many. Oh, hello. Attack increased. Uh oh. Attack increased again. Do our best to take them out then. Okay. Your attack can't increase anymore because you are dead. Rude. That guy's just really rude. Impolite. Attack increased! Death! on one mud beast at a time. That seems safest. Spicy and chili flavors. You're not getting through here! Uh oh. At least Kurt was just taking a little nap. It's fine. Oh, 
Oh, you heal, huh? You're rude, huh? Yes, hit everyone. Hmm, a counter. Don't like that. We should probably take out the Bud Beasts first. Uh-oh. Hitting the little guy is what causes that shockwave. So we can't hit the little guy right away. We gotta be careful. We're probably gonna die. Once Robo gets his cure up, we'll do another one. Stop it! This guy's annoying. You guys, you guys attack that thing over there. Yeah, do a combo. That's the good stuff we do like to see. Yeah, I can heal too. You're not special. annoying, but I think we can do it. Really tanky. already? There we go. Alright, now we can focus on attacking that guy. We need lots of big hits. Thank you. 
sorry, Robo Knight might need to do another uh, heal beam thing. Yeah, yeah, that guy just keeps kicking the rocks around. Yep, heals for everyone. get off the floor. Now we'll just attack this guy. He doesn't have any creatures to send at us. Oh, yeah, that 150 heal's gonna do a lot, bud. We're out damaging him, so I think we'll be fine. This will just be annoying. Up to the mountain of woe. Ah, that's a rock. Creature. Disables tech and item commands. Well, that's fine. We're pretty strong without. Honestly. Also, we don't have a lot of MP. and rain sap. Nobody's favorite. Also, that guy's bird disappeared. Oh, okay. The bird is gone once again. Not very strong little guys, are they? Frenzy! Okay, that's the way forward. Let's explore instead. Yep, more guys with birds. Vera Pecco. These rock guys have some good TP gain. Thank goodness. Maybe we'll hang out here for a while. I don't know. I'll bring my friends up here. We can fight on the mountain. Of woe. Rapid fire fist! Oh goody, we have charm. Boogie dual tech! Beast toss dual tech! Hang on, hang on, we learned so much just then. What the heck? We can boogie? What is boogie? <laughs> In 
inflict stop on all enemies. <laughs> Peko, this is a one-time dungeon. Please show off Boogie. I'm gonna have to show off Boogie, clearly. Not on this guy, though. He doesn't like partying. He's like, no. Platinum Helm. We spent all that money on Radiant Helms. Ugh. Oh well. What you gonna do, right? Well, if we don't beat this dungeon, um, tonight, then I can, like, level grind with friends off off stream on the mountain for a bit this guy doesn't want me to boogie so I can't boogie at him he's like no dancing alone Okay. Who's ready to freaking dance, bro? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that was a thing of beauty. shelter since we have no MP okay also I'm gonna switch some other people in to learn some text just just real quick I don't know, maybe we'll finish up here. It's a mystery. Ow. HP to one bully moments. Maybe, um... Well, as long as we don't run into another one of those gargoyles, it should be fine.
Ice sword too. Fun. Obtained a lapis. What does a lapis do again? Ah, oh, yes. 200 HP for everyone. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Faces passing up. Oh, Ah, come on! Uh oh. There's a bunch of them. I gotta keep my friends safe! With the lightning. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And a barrier sphere. I think that also protects against magic. I should actually use my items more often. Good things might happen. I was kind of hoping that would destroy them. Oh well. Ah, dang, looks like this one was the way forward. This one leads to a treat. Platinum Vest, and Shield Sphere. No tech allowed! No tech! Why did you do that? What is happening? Oh my god. There we go. Protect! Cute. Ally defense. Uh, I need to upgrade fire. Don't have enough to do that yet. We have ice too, though. Ooh, a cure too. That'll be nice. Just kick the rock at me. So rude. Ow. Quit throwing rocks at my friends. Nice. 
level ups for everybody. Uh-oh. shield thing I picked up earlier do. Okay, that reduces magical damage by a third. Reduces physical damage by a third. Okay, that's not bad. No tech allowed. Come on! It's a rock! It's just sitting there! Escaped? The rock escaped? How? It's a rock! Oh, Pegasonic. Ozzy has collected a lot of death and treats today and is losing to a rock. Ugh, I lost to a rock! It escaped! How does a rock escape? Another lapis. They're really expecting me to bite it out here, aren't they? Ooh, we get a holy light later. That's fun. Oh, okay, buddy, whatever you say. That's a lot of stuff you need. Tailspin. Neat. Aerial strike. Oh, dude, Frog is like two away from that. I'm gonna switch him in. Hang on a second. Proximity bump, bump is fun, but hard to use. I can imagine. Well, it's not a rock, at least. dual tech frost arc triple tech oh man lots of treats I want to see it you know don't be confused Don't confuse my friends. And my friend is confused. At least she's hitting enemies. Okay. Fine! Fine, I'll blast everyone with lightning because you want to cast Confuse. Oh, no, never mind, I can't do anything. I just gotta hope they do it themselves. Ow! Don't hit each other, be friends! I'm already confused, leave me alone. Leave me the heck alone.
here, Pekka. These plant enemies remind me of parrots for some reason. I can see it. Okay, so we're just gonna bully Chrono, I guess. How do you like that, jerks? Man, I wanted to show off the cool new thing we learned, but that did not happen. Another shield sphere. Alright. Let's uh, take out this rock, hopefully. Don't miss the rock. Hit the rock. You gotta hit the rock real hard. You gotta hit the rock. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on! It's just sitting there. Thank you. There we go. Much better. You're a pecko. These rocks are like metal slimes, sadly. It's fine, we got him. <laughs> Stupid high evasion rock. What a jerk. As long as it's not plants, it's fine. Why you bully? Sorry. Perish. Looks like it will lead to uh, final bossish things. It is pointing straight up, and the dungeons in this game aren't really long. So, uh, I know it's a little uncharacteristic of me, but I think I'm going to call it. I don't think I can beat this boss in two minutes, whatever it is. But, uh, we'll start here next week, I guess. Thank you all so much for popping in. I hope you're having a good time with Chrono Trigger. I'm certainly having a good time playing it. If you guys are enjoying the playthrough, please consider donating to my Patreon if you can. There is a RoboCat shaped button underneath the streaming window. If you cannot see it, try stretching your browser window out a bit as it does like to hide. $1 a month will get you access to stream related art before it goes up to other social media. $5 a month will let you vote on what I draw and $10 a month will get you access to Photoshop files and processes your kind of thing. Thank you all so much for coming. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a good rest of your evenings and I hope you are all staying safe and taking care of yourselves. Good night, folks.